St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, so I thought it would be really fun to put together some super easy and fun and delicious St. Patrick's Day treats for toddlers. Our daughter is 18 months old, and I think we're all Irish, right? We all have Irish in us. I know that I do, and I know that Harper does. Um, if you guys don't know, she's adopted. <laughs> um, but she's also biologically related to me. But then on her other birth side of the family, I know that they have some Irish in them too. And I think even Joe has a little bit of Irish. He's Italian and Native American and a couple other things. But I think, I think everybody has a little bit of Irish in them. <laughs> And as you guys know, I always love celebrating little holidays like this with just some treats for Harper. It's a really fun and easy way to celebrate and it's also very educational when the kids can kind of get involved with you and make these treats. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in. Harper and I usually eat the same thing. Whatever I'm eating, I just make her her own little version of it. And we both love drinking smoothies in the morning. It's a really nice, healthy, easy breakfast to start the day. And so today I thought that we would make a green smoothie with a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day twist. So for this smoothie, I use spinach, banana, frozen strawberries, almond milk, and ice. Harper and I don't really love super sweet smoothies, but if you do, you might wanna add a tablespoon or two of honey or another sweetener. Then I just throw everything in a blender and blended it up how you normally would do a smoothie. <laughs> To make it a little extra special, I just put a little bit of whipped cream on top and then I put some marshmallows from the Lucky Charm cereal on top to make it really fun and festive. Okay, so next up I made a couple different rainbow platters that came out super adorable and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. So first I'll start with the fruit rainbow platter and I also made a really yummy fruit dip to go with this. So basically you just want to get any kind of fruit that is a color of the rainbow. So I used raspberries for red, green grapes, and then for the orange I just got some cheddar cheese. Harper loves eating cheese with her fruit blueberries and I was gonna go get some pineapple for the yellow color but I was buying a lot of fruit <laughs> and vegetables for this video and we have those little fruit cups that we get from Costco and I already had those on hand so I just pulled out the it was actually pears that I used for the yellow so I just used that for the yellow but you can use pineapple or bananas then I just assembled all of their fruit in a rainbow pattern and shape on the plate and when that was done I got started on my fruit dip I will link the recipe down below that I followed although I did cut it in half and for this you need cream cheese Greek yogurt and powdered sugar. You can also make this recipe with marshmallow fluff instead of the Greek yogurt, but I was kind of trying to go the healthy route. <laughs> so I just took all of my ingredients and mixed them up in a bowl. And then I got a piping bag and a little tip. I used a star tip, but you could just use a regular round tip or you can even just use a Ziploc bag and snip off the corner of it. And at the bottom of the rainbow, I just piped out little clouds that I think came out super, super cute. And that is my fruit rainbow platter with the yummy fruit dip to go with it. I love the way that it came out. Harper absolutely devoured this. <laughs> she ate everything on her plate. She kept saying, mmm, as she was eating it. So it was a huge hit. It was super easy to do and I'm definitely gonna be doing doing it again in the future. It doesn't need to be St. Patrick's Day for you to make something like this. I think it's a really fun spring and summer treat for your kids. Okay, next up is kind of more of a lunch version of this. I used vegetables and I also made a little sandwich to go with it. So for this platter, I used cherry tomatoes, which is one of Harper's absolute favorites. I meant to pick up carrots, but I forgot, so I just used cheese again, yellow bell pepper, broccoli, and then I just used the blueberries for the purple. Then I just assembled everything on the plate to go in the rainbow shape like we did last time. I thought it'd be fun to make a sandwich cloud for this platter and so I just used white bread, turkey, a little bit of mayo, and made the sandwich how I typically would. So I didn't have a cloud cut out, but I did have this little doggy footprint cut out. And so what I did was I made my sandwich and then I cut off the crust on one of the bottoms. And then I just used the top half of this little cutout and it made the perfect little cloud shape. So if you have something like this or even if you have like an oval cookie cutter, you can then just take your knife and like kind of cut out little divots to make a cloud. Get creative with it. I'm sure you can figure something out. <laughs> 
For the other side of the rainbow, I just took some ranch and tried to just squeeze it onto the plate in a little bit of a cloud shape and it worked out perfectly. Again, I love how this platter came out. I love how colorful it is and fun. Harper, when she woke up from her nap, just dove right into it. For the last one, I made a really cute St. Patrick's Day little dessert treat breakfast. <laughs> I saw these on Pinterest and I thought that they were super cute and looked really easy to put together. I will link the original blog post from the blogger down below so you guys can go check it out. So for this, I used powdered donut holes, Fruit Loops, and then I just assorted out the colors. And I tried to use Twizzlers to make it completely edible, but that didn't work. <laughs> So you definitely need pipe cleaners. Luckily, I had some on hand. These were super easy to put together. Basically, you just get your donut hole and then you wanna put in your pipe cleaner. You wanna push it as far in as you can so that it's nice and secure. And then you just start stacking the Fruit Loops on top of each other going in a colored pattern. Then you just push the other side of the pipe cleaner into the donut hole. Again, you wanna really push it in there so that it's nice and secure. And there you have a super cute donut cereal rainbow that's super yummy. Of course, Harper absolutely loved eating this. It was definitely a special treat for her. I was kind of busy filming when I was making these, but next time when I make them, I'm really excited to get Harper involved because I think that she would have a lot of fun putting the little Fruit Loops on the pipe cleaners. It's a great way for them to practice their colors and you can talk about the colors in the rainbow and the order that they go in. So it's a really fun educational activity. I think that kids would really have a lot of fun doing and then and being able to eat it when they're done. Are you having a taste of the rainbow, Harper? <laughs> I think you just need to eat one of those. Mm. And that's all of the St. Patrick's Day toddler treats that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Tag me on Instagram. If you guys make any of these, I would love to see them. I hope everyone has a great St. Patrick's Day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.